What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. The last few years, there has been some interesting speculation between Cynthia Erivo and Lena Waithe. And I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correct. Uh, Lena is a very talented Hollywood producer, uh, movie writer, TV show writer, and also an actress. Cynthia Erivo um, also is considered to be very talented. I know there was some people who felt that her performance in Harriet, the Harriet Tubman movie was less than stellar. Some people really liked it. She's a Nigerian or British Nigerian actress. But, you know, before then, she was dealing with white men. Number one, Dean John Wilson. And then right after that, Mario Martinez. Now, this was in uh, her acting prime, 2016, 2017. Very, very serious with at least one of these guys. I believe it was Dean John Wilson. And for whatever reasons, those relationships ended quite frequently or it ended like rather fast. Right now, I, I want to talk about this because here is what is interesting because she's 35. Now at this time, she would have been 28, 27, 29. You know, to, to, to know what you are as a sexual, your sexuality should be quite evident. So at that time, she was living as a heterosexual woman, okay? And I'm going to tread very, very lightly here. That's what I'm about to say. It could be controversial. But after these two interracial relationships, her career, from what I understand, is not as popular as what it was. And, and now, now in 2020, she comes and dates Lena Waithe. Now, remember... Alina was Lena was married to Alana Mayo, who's the president over at Orion Productions and Films. That marriage lasted less than a year. And I reported on that too. So now all of a sudden they are now together coming out in Pride Month. Cynthia at 35. And I'm even looking at the way that she was wearing her hair, presenting herself in 2015 and shortly thereafter. And now Green hair, short hair, cutting her hair all the way completely off. Um, multiple earrings in her ear. Um, and this this looks like a woman who is uh, sort of giving up on heterosexual dating. But the question is, was it by choice? Or was Lena Waithe the best option? And so here's where it's going to become controversial. My thing is this. Why not Lena or somebody like Lena in the prime? I mean, because if you're somebody like little Nas X, who's, you know, in his prime, and he's always been gay. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be, you know, when he's high, he's going to be gay. And then when he, you know, declines if that happens, which every artist hits that point, he'll still will get he'll still be gay. Why is it that Cynthia, towards the middle 30s or late 30s, comes out with this relationship now identifying as queer? Now, could it be that she's always been this and those proclivities were there? And you know, maybe she identified as maybe bisexual. I'm not sure. Or is this a sign of, well, I can't really get what I'm looking for. And so maybe this is the best opportunity for me. Is that a combination of the two? Because clearly, if that was the case, it seems to me you would have seen this early on in her career. And maybe you guys have information that I don't. But what I'm saying is that you're going to see more situations like this in America. Because why? Well, 
we we know that a lot of ladies are picky. And for the average guy who women don't want, they won't deal with. But maybe in the middle here, you're going to see an emerging new opportunity for ladies in the lesbian community to kind of somewhat come together. And so, so I can't get the kind of guy that I was looking for. Maybe I can get the kind of woman that I was looking for. And you're going to see it around that age group. Not seeing something like I'm in my 25s or 20s and see. No, I think that you're going to kind of see it like towards that 30s, 40s thing. Or like, if you can't do that, then you'll see something like what you're seeing with uh, Lala Anthony. 40, now I'm going with a much younger guy thing. Or like, Lonnie Love, I'm 50 and I'm going with a completely broke guy my age thing. And what this is indicative of is a lot of these women are giving up on heterosexual dating. And it's the women like at that age group. What am I saying? Like, okay, on the opposite spectrum, average men are starting to give up on the dating spectrum. But then the option that they have is a few. If you're in the black community, you can't get what you're looking for. Let's let's try the interracial thing. Okay? Let's say if you're tired of American women, let's try the overseas thing. Let's go to Thailand. Let's go to Brazil. But but women don't have those same options that men do. We we can do that and because you know we're used to providing so for us to deal with somebody that's foreign, you can kind of get the best of both worlds. If you think about it, like I can get a really good looking woman that will cook for me every day and she's like a 10 and maybe she don't know she's a 10. But what we've seen is Cynthia Erivo go from dating white men to black women. Which is interesting because typically that's supposed to be the opposite. Because see, the black community is supposed to be Somewhat dysfunction, right? Like, oh, you know, I got to get away from you guys and things like that because, you know, we're from the community. We don't get along. And you you typically see people going from our community like, okay, as we're doing better, we're going to go out. But she already had that option. So my question is, why didn't she work out with these guys? And I don't think it has anything to do with her being her sexual orientation. I think that it just didn't work out and the guys didn't put up with it. I I don't just think that she's just completely don't like guys. I just think that a lot of ladies have tried to hit that particular mark with dudes. And they, they found out that, man, the guys that I like got some other options here. So then my options might not be as great as much as I as much as I value. This is why I think you see a lot of women like you, you, just look at how they wear their hair now. You you see you you, you know and I, I I would say this a lot a lot to be said about purple hair, green hair, orange hair. I mean think about men how they dress. You see a guy with 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 saggy jeans, baggy jeans, um, you know not looking like he should be taken serious, that particular guy is going to pretty much reduce his marketability to women. And what you're seeing is this same thing. These ladies have given up. These women of a certain age group, you're starting to see them giving up. And if you look at Cynthia, there's a complete change. And I think that change has nothing to do with, okay, I never liked guys before, but just like, it's kind of hard to stay here with these white guys over here. And I could be wrong. But you're seeing it with a lot of actresses. Act, look, 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 look at the ladies that are, are, are getting older. Look at Keisha Cole, Nico Kale. Look at Kim Kardashian, Pete Davis. Look at Cynthia Revo here. Look at Lonnie Love. These are just examples.
These ladies are just not the same as they were 10 years ago. Why is that the question? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drive. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Oh,